Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we are looking at the latest from British manufacturer Master Sounds. This rather attractive piece of kit is the Radius 2 valve. Let's get into it. A while ago I reviewed the Linear 4V, the first mixer from Master Sounds with linear rather than rotary faders. They also made a rotary version of that one, the Radius 4V. If you've seen those, then the two valve might be looking a little familiar to you. And that's for good reason, because the two valve is basically the 4V, but with two channels chopped off the left hand side. There's no linear version of the two at present, although I'm sure Master Sounds will make one if the demand proves to be there. So I haven't spent a very long time with this unit because I really didn't need to. I had the 4V in hand for a couple of months, so I'm very familiar with the build and sound quality on offer here. If there are any details I might miss in this review, do go and watch my episode on the Linear 4V where I'm sure I will have covered them already. What's actually different? Literally, the first two channels are missing and that's it. Those two channels were switchable to mic, so if you ever need a microphone live or fancied using the mixer as a valve mic preamp, you'll definitely want the 4V instead. Where that becomes an advantage though is in the size of the two valve. This thing is really very compact and will sit comfortably in a standard record bag or box. So if you want to travel with your pride and joy, this is definitely a better option as long as you only need two channels. It's also a little more affordable. Master Sounds don't make budget gear, their whole range is high end, but the two valve is nearly 500 pounds cheaper than the 4V at just shy of 1500 pounds. I'm giving prices in pounds sterling as that's how Master Sounds price them, but it's worth noting that the poor performance of the pound in recent months means that, elsewhere in the world, their products are cheaper today than they used to be. Build quality is predictably fantastic, as you would expect for that kind of money, with nutted pots everywhere, and the whole thing just feels incredibly solid. The two main rotary level controls are from Alps, which are usually the preferred choice amongst rotary heads, and they have a beautifully smooth feel throughout the whole stroke. As with the 4V before it, the sound of the two valve is nothing short of breathtaking. The phono preamps are really something special, but it also has valves or tubes on the input stages, which brings a sense of openness and warmth which you rarely hear on DJ gear. That applies to line level sources as well as the phono inputs, and that means everything balances beautifully together. One concern with valves is that they might get a little bit warm, but I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary in my testing, and there are big vents on the side of the mixer to keep it cool. There are also grills on the top panel to allow you to see through to the valves themselves, tastefully illuminated with a red LED. That's virtually impossible to film properly, but it does look really good in real life. All the other features of the 4V are present and correct here. You have three band EQ on the two channels, along with a gain control, which some purists might not approve of, but all of that will really help users of regular mixers feel comfortable. Also on the channels, a switch to go between phono and line, and an effect send level control, which can be switched between pre or post fader. Around the back are separate line and phono inputs for each channel, a booth output on balanced jacks, master on balanced XLRs and an RCA record output. There is the slightly complex but usable standard master sound send and return setup and an external power supply with the company offering their linear power upgrade as an option for even better sound quality. Metering is great on the two valve. You have an LED strip on the channels themselves and then a pair of analog VU meters which show the master output or Q level depending on what's active. They also illuminate red when you clip. I've thought about this a lot since I tested the 4V and I've come to the conclusion that analog VUs are simply the best and should be put onto all DJ gear from now on. There's just something a little magical about them. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Queuing is comprehensive with Q master blend, split Q, and big brightly illuminated Q buttons. I think I said in the 4V review that I'd like an 8th inch jack socket as well as the quarter inch one, ideally, but that's no biggie. The master EQ isolator is fantastic. As with the 4V, it's somewhat aggressive with a 12 dB boost on each frequency, so you'll have to practice a little restraint in order to avoid over cranking things. But it's a really clean, smooth way of manipulating the sound as you perform, even if the knobs are a little too close together to let you go full claw cell. <laughs> Thank you. 
And finally, the Crossfader, a rare sight indeed on a rotary mixer. For me, it remains a huge addition. Whilst testing the two valve, I played a seven hour multi genre set and just would not have been comfortable without it. It's a decent Penny and Giles fader too, with a good sharp cut in on the hardest curve and a short cut in distance. If you don't like it, you can bypass it, as there are assigned switches on the channels, and that does mean you can set it up hamster style too. The only thing to bear in mind is that, as it's all the way to the right of the mixer, you'll need to leave a bit of a gap between the mixer and your players if you want to cut in comfort, but that's generally best practice anyway. So there you go, my take on the Radius 2 valve from Master Sounds. You know, it's almost feeling a bit redundant at this point, talking about the sound and build quality of Master Sounds mixers when they come my way, because they're just consistently excellent on both of those fronts every single time. I'll let you know if that ever changes, but you know, you're paying a lot of money for a hand-built made-to-order mixer. You expect a certain level of quality, and with Master Sounds, that is what you get. Where I'm particularly interested in the Radius 2 Valve is that this is the most accessible mixer that Master Sounds have produced to date. You could say pretty much the same thing about its bigger four-channel brother, but that one, it's not so portable, you can't take it out with you and use it all the time. So this one is kind of on a different level, I think. The rotary scene, from the outside, can be a little bit intimidating. It's a lot like the turntablism scene. They are both important niches within DJing. They both contain a lot of very passionate, very hardcore people. And a lot of the hardware looks like it's come from a different planet compared to regular DJ gear. This one though, it just looks like a regular mixer. You've got a crossfader on there. You've got a three band EQ and a trim control on each channel. So if you're not used to the rotary kind of way of doing things, you can step up and use this, but still enjoy that wonderful quality. Enjoy the rotary faders, the three band EQ and isolator on the master, all that kind of rotary goodness without feeling completely lost because otherwise it's a very familiar piece of kit. And I think that's gonna be important if the rotary scene is gonna to continue to thrive and grow as we keep moving forward. It needs to be accessible to people. It needs to be open to new people to come in because the bigger it grows, as with turntablism, the better for DJing as a whole. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.